I'm Mary Ann Sinclair and I have raised Shetland sheep in the past for uh, the full process of wool to end product and one of the end products that I made was little rovings, uh, little nest rovings of uh, wool. It was from a crossbred yeah, cross mixture, bread, yeah. Um, Suffolk and uh, because it doesn't felt. And so it was the one wool that wouldn't pack in point shoes for dancers. And I sold it on a, in a dance shop in Spokane, Washington. So it was for when the ballet dancer goes up on her toes yes. and there's that bit of wood at the bottom yes. of the toes. So she, so you would, so they would pack, they'd buy your roving that wouldn't felt mm -hmm. to make it so it was kinder to their feet yeah. when they were spinning mm -hmm. on their toes. They would wrap it between their toes and then come back across the top of their toes. And so it, not, none of their toes touched and it supported their toes from blistering and if it would pack it would be the same as dancing on the hardwood because it would blister and that was their protection. So the fact that that fleece, that particular f mixed breed fleece mm -hmm. couldn't felt made it ideal for dancers toe shoes. Perfect, yes. That's fascinating. I mean mm -hmm. because now dancers you were saying they now use artificial? It's a it's a synthetic uh, molded uh, toe cup that they use and it's really not as effective because it doesn't wind around the toes but it, it protects them on the impact when they're up on point. So the new synthetic one do, it protects them on the impact mm -hmm. but doesn't necessarily do as good a job as the twining of the right. non-felting wool right. that you used to sell at a dance mm -hmm. shop. That's absolutely fascinating. It's the kind of thing that I never would have known unless I met somebody who had actually, you know, mm -hmm. done this, you know, had produced a, an aspect, found an aspect of a wool fleece that was useful for, you know, dancer's toes because it didn't felt. I think that's absolute. Thank you well, so and much. I just fell into it because our youngest daughter was a dancer and she became a professional dancer, not as a, a ballet, but a lyrical dancer kind of modern dance yeah. type thing. Mm -hmm. Like um, what she called Martha Graham type dancing. Oh yeah, well they do a lot of on point Martha Graham does, but oh, but um, yeah. So she had a well-rounded education, but you know, it's how long do you want to dance? Because if you're danced on point, your career is really limited. So Well, anyway. it's fascinating to hear the part that wool played in ballet dancing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, oh, brilliant, thank you. You're welcome.